Hello guys, it's Teenage Marvel Fan back with another video, and as you can see in this video, I am very proud to announce that I am reviewing the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Far From Home Mysterio figure. So this is a figure that I've been excited about since I found out that there was going to be a Mysterio figure, and since I saw what it was going to look like, but this is a very hard figure to get, because everybody wants it, because... Everybody loves Mysterio in the movie, and the rest of the wave, you know, it's not, it's okay, but it's not that great. So this is the best figure in the wave, and the only reason I got it was because on Amazon, every once in a while, they'll get it back in stock, and they'll have it up for, you know, regular price, nineteen ninety nine. but it's usually only up for regular price for a couple minutes, because once people find out about it, it automatically sells out, because it's a really good figure and everybody wants it and i was just on amazon looking at other stuff and then i decided to see if this was back in stock and it was and then i decided to order it so i'm so happy to finally have this so before we get this out of the packaging let's take a closer look at this so the build a figure is molten man there's the age warning so if you're three years old or younger don't get this because you you going to put it in your mouth and you going to choke. So don't do that. Um, but here's a window box displaying the figure and its contents or accessories. There's the Spider-Man Far From Home logo. The name of the character. The Hasbro logo. Here's a look at the side of the packaging with some amazing artwork of Mysterio. Here's the other side with the same exact artwork. Here's the back with the same exact artwork. And then the Marvel Legends series logo. Here's a, a short read-up about the character. Pause the video now if you want to read it. Yep. Then here's Molten Man, the build a figure. And here's all the figures you need to collect to build Molten Man. There's Spider-Man. Except you don't need that figure because he doesn't come with a build a figure piece. But still get him if you want him. Then there's Mysterio, which of course is this one I have here. Spider-Man in his stealth suit, aka Night Monkey suit. If you've seen Spider-Man Far From Home, then you know exactly what that means. Uh, we have Hydro-Man, which is a comic figure. Doppelganger, which is a comic figure. Spider-Woman, the Julia Carpenter version, also a comic ver character. And Scorpion, also a comic figure. And here's all the legal mumbo-jumbo, because nobody cares about that, except, you know, legal mumbo-jumbo people. And then there's some more of it, and there's the UPC. Alright, now let's get this thing out of the packaging and take a closer look. And now we have Mysterio out of the packaging, and I am so pleased with this figure. But before we take a look at Mysterio, first we're going to take a look at his accessories. So first of all, he comes with a build-a-figure piece of Molten Man. This is, I believe, the left leg. You know, got some good articulation on this. You can go up and down. Got some nice ankle pivot. Oh, that nice ankle pivot. And then, of course, the knee articulation. Oh, swivel. That's pretty cool. Of course, it plugs into the torso right there. Um, so, yeah, that's real special. Um, as you can see, the reddish-orange paint, you can kind of see the gold, like, bleeding through it. And on a normal figure, that would look bad, but on this, it actually looks pretty good. Because this is basically supposed to look like, well, basically a golden poop. I mean, who doesn't want a golden poo sitting on their shelf? I, I know I don't, but... Um, well, that's why I'm not building the Build-A-Figure. But moving on from that, we have an extra pair of hands. Um, I'm not going to show you um, putting them on because if you've been watching my reviews for a while now, then you should know how easy it is to plug in the hands because I'm not going to use these when I'm displaying Mysterio. So I don't want to put them in and then have to take them back out and it's just, you know, a big mess. So let's take a closer look at Mysterio. I'm just gonna kind of get him straightened out here. I had him kind of posed. 
All right, so we have the head here. It's like a pearlish color with some nice sparkling effects there. And then we've got the gold rim down there. And then this part is supposed to be the front, I believe, maybe. Or maybe, I think that might be the back, actually. It's kind of hard to tell on this, like, which what direction he's facing. Um, there is a bit of gold paint, like, speckles of it on the helmet, but not... It's not noticeable enough, so I'm fine with it. So I think that's the front. No, that's the front. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll, we'll go with that as the front, at least for now. Uh, looking at these eye pieces here, I'm really liking it. Um, I'm confused as to why like a chip of that is missing. It it's not like a, a QC problem on my figure like on every Mysterio figure, that's how it is. It's not that way in the movie though. So maybe this is based off of promo art, but I don't know why that would be based off of promo art. Um, then of course you've got the cape, which looks great. Um, looking at the inside here, you got the green triangles there. Um, although they kind of messed up here and it's not completely in the shape that it's supposed to be there. As you can see, there's the shape, and then it's kind of outside that. Up here, it's not too bad. It's a little bit lacking on it, but then over here, it's pretty good. But the back of this is so amazing. Look at this. Look at that green paint. The patterns there. So many unique abstract patterns there featuring eyes and stuff like that. Uh, it has no meaning in the movie, um, but... It just looks cool. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then, of course, looking at the torso, you got the gold part. This part is supposed to light up in the movie. It's more of a bluish color. They used a uh, green on this, but, you know, that's fine, I guess. Um, of course, we got the purple in there around the waist. And then the, one of the things I like the most about this figure and the whole design of the costume in the movie is this green part here. You see how it's kind of like a plaid, like square, rectangle pattern? I love that so much because the original Mysterio design from the comics, like his whole suit was green and had that pattern on it. So I like that they figured out a way to work that into the movie costume. And then, of course, these bulky gauntlets were part of the comic costume. Like, this is the thing I love about Mysterio. His costume is so goofy, yet he takes himself so seriously, and then Spider-Man doesn't take him take him seriously. Um, as you can see, the gloves are green. I think they're supposed to be gold to match the gauntlets, but once again, based off of promo art, so may have been a last-minute change. Once again, you got the green down there, and the... I don't even know what that's supposed to be. But then you've also got the boots with the the co covering part up there, and then that. And of course, peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Now let's get some comparisons in here. This is the basic Spider-Man figure from Spider-Man Homecoming. Then taking a look at another basic figure, this time from Far From Home, we have Molten Man. I should probably put them back here. Alright, yeah, so Molten Man, of course, shorter, because those are the $10 figures. And then here we have Vulture, which is in the same line as Mysterio. They're both $20, except you can see that Vulture is a little bit taller. And that's pretty much my only complaint about this Mysterio figure, is that he's a little short. Like, Vulture kind of towers over him. Not too much, but enough. And that's pretty much the only thing I don't like about him. But now taking a look at articulation. Of course, uh, that moves 360 degrees. I've got to get that back in the right position. Uh, you can move it side to side. A little bit up, a little bit down. So that's all good. And then the arms, of course, go all the way around. They move out. There is a bicep swivel. And then a joint at the elbow to bend. And then uh, there's not a swivel at the elbow because it's up at the bicep. Um, but then you have the um, hinge 
on the rest and also swivels swivel swivel and then of course you have the ab articulation with the ab crunch so you can go like that you can swivel that's a word that's being said a lot in this review swivel 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 let me know down in the comments below how many times I say swivel and then then good job for figuring it out I guess I don't know uh, the leg goes that far forward that far back you can do the splits so you know maybe that's one of Mysterio's illusions he's doing the splits that's right he's a gymnast now so that's cool um, he has a, du a double joint or, yeah double joint and knee of course uh, no boot cut because the boot basically goes up to the knee um, but then you do have some ankle articulation up and down and then beautiful ankle pivot of course with showing off the peg holes which always look good um, so yes this is Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home from the Marvel Legends wave. This is a figure that I didn't think I'd get until like Christmas because it's so hard to find, but I actually got it and I'm so happy that I finally have it. Uh, so those of you out there that want to try and get this, good luck. If you've already gotten it, then congratulations. I hope you love the figure as much as me. But that's going to have to do it for this review. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video so I can bestow all my Marvel knowledge upon you.